What do you do if you wish to view a location so far into space that you will never be able to get there? You send a station for space observation. NASA has done just that by deploying the James Webb Space Telescope to the furthest reaches of space to let us view more of our universe. The edge of the universe will be one of the locations the Space Telescope will focus on. The discovery at the edge of the universe seems terrifying. Will the telescope be able to glimpse the objects at the edge of the universe? How capable is the James Webb Space Telescope now that it has reached its orbit and operations have commenced? How potent is this new space eye? NASA claims that the JLST can detect even a bumblebee's faint heat at the moon's distance because it is so sensitive to infrared radiation. This telescope is 100 times more powerful than the well-known Hubble telescope, which has been providing us with beautiful images of the universe for more than three decades, to put it more precisely. The JWST is designed to snap real newborn photos of the universe. The Hubble can capture beautiful images of space, but it has limitations. For instance, it has prevented astronomers from witnessing the formation of the earliest galaxies following the Big Bang. Because Webb will function like a giant time machine that will alter. It's as if the initial chapter of the universe's 14 billion year history is missing from our copy. The JLUST will increase our knowledge of the universe by capturing light traveling across space for up to 13.5 billion years, hundreds of millions of years earlier than Hubble. What gives the Webb Telescope its incredible power? The 6.4-meter diameter massive primary mirror is a portion of it. 18 smaller portions must perfectly line up. A single human hair strand is 1,000 times thicker than the gold coating that covers the segments. More effectively than other metals, 24-karat gold, which weighs less than 2 ounces, reflects infrared light. The infrared spectrum is just outside the range of light humans can see. The mirrors are composed of beryllium rather than pure gold. The Webb telescope has to be kept cold to operate correctly. A five-layer sun shield the size of a tennis court enables it to do that. When Webb took off on Christmas Day, this mechanism was folded up, but less than two weeks later, the fragile layers of the shield were successfully deployed. The sun's intense heat would damage the telescope's sensors without protection. Roughly 260 degrees Fahrenheit will be experienced on the side facing the sun, while about 370 degrees below zero will be experienced on the opposite side, a contrast of about 600 degrees. Webb receives the equivalent of 1 million CF from the sun shield. The fact that they won't be able to rectify any problems that develop, both during the launch and operation, is one thing that worries scientists about the Webb telescope. In contrast, five space shuttle crews have visited Hubble over its lifetime to provide maintenance and upgrades and fix the telescope's first hazy eyesight. But the Hubble is just 340 miles distant, so that explains it. Nearly a million kilometers between you and the Webb telescope. The repair workers on spacewalks cannot handle this at all. NASA has one opportunity to do it right then. However, if the right technology is created, researchers could one day send a robot to Webb to replenish its fuel, prolonging its lifespan. Regarding fuel, NASA initially anticipated that the telescope would only operate for 10 years. However, thanks to a successful launch, there is still enough fuel to keep the JVLEST operational for 20 years. For the time being, scientists are anxiously expecting the arrival of Webb's initial images this summer. The JVLEST will start working after that. It will be helpful to learn more about the nature of the universe's dark energy and comprehend the characteristics of these old things. Finding out if there is another Earth among the far-off exoplanets that litter the universe will also be helpful. Interestingly, even before it took its first pictures, the JLMUST began demonstrating its value, almost $10 billion. A precise mirror had never been made. Therefore, Northrop Grumman, who produced the telescope's mirrors, had to break new ground. Eye doctors are currently using the technologies that the firm created. They also created things at the level of computers, the width of the universe. To better understand, when calculating the breadth of the universe, one must account for the extra distance brought on by the expansion of space. Because of this, it is evident that the universe's boundary is not located 13 billion light years from Earth. It is predicted to be considerably higher than that. 
What celestial object can humans view at its most significant distance? One thing is that we might never see some things in the universe. Well, that brings us to an end. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.